Hi guys, it's Sam here today, and today we are going to be reviewing one of the new Love Collection palettes from Pat McGrath and two of the liquid eyeshadows. So if you are interested in that, continue watching. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Sam. I'm a makeup enthusiast and makeup is my passion. If you feel the same way, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload a video like this. And it's free. So without further ado, let's get into it. I've already applied my base. I have a lipstick. I am wearing a blush. I will mention that one of the blushes released in this collection was her Desert, Desert Orchid, which I did already have. So I did not purchase it. And that is what I'm wearing right now on my cheeks. And I did not purchase the lipsticks. They were just like this kind of packaging from the Bridgerton collection but they were different shades i did not pick up either of those today i am wearing the lip fetish lip balm in flesh three and i think that's it for housekeeping i picked up the palette in sublime seduction and there were three palettes released with this collection there was a pinky one that was called iconic infatuation i'm pretty sure and then there was a all matte uh, six pan palette, same packaging and all, um, called Velvet Liaison. She released six liquid eyeshadows and I picked up two of them, the pink one in Luna Rose and the Platinum Bronze. The palettes retail for $65 and the liquid eyeshadows retail for $29. I did get 10% off with the code LOVE10. Typically, if you are interested in a Pat McGrath release, be sure to sign up for the early access. You get an hour earlier access than the typical release. And she always sends you some kind of 10% off code that you can use. So you don't have to search the web to kind of find one. So the palette did come in a cardstock with a matching kind of image on the front. I will note that on the packaging, it says the name of the palette, Sublime Seduction. But on the palette itself, it does not say it. It will say the name of the palette on the back with the names of the shades. The ingredients, though, for the eyeshadows are on the back of the carton. So once you get rid of this, you kind of don't really know what the ingredients are on the palette. Of course, they are usually listed online. But I don't think, you know, with a limited edition palette or something like that, that it's not going to be listed forever. Now, the reason why I didn't go for the nudie pink one was kind of because of the reason that a lot of people mentioned in comments on the web is that it looks very similar to the Bridgerton one minus this blue. It just has another kind of mauve purpley shade. I will say that the um, new Love Collection doesn't have these satin mattes. They have like traditional mattes in them, which I'm not a huge fan of these, but I don't need repetitive colors in my collection and we have tons of berry tones in our collections if you are a collector like me so I didn't need any more of them so I was more drawn to this brown one even though despite the fact that it's Valentine's collection I just thought these are a little bit more unique with the peach and this kind of clay color here they're different than what we typically have seen with Pat McGrath, but it's still really on the safe side. This is the packaging for the liquid eyeshadows. Really cute. Um, looks a lot like a little lip gloss packaging. And then this is the shadow itself. The packaging is simple and cute. All right, so I want to get into the look first before we go into swatching all the products. Let's just dip right in. The first sheet I really want to go into is this peach one, and it's called Peach Persuasion. I've been having my eye on that palette since the photos released. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and go right in. And I already have eyeshadow primer on. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner, but I'm wearing the Milani eyeshadow primer. I finally found it. It was missing for a bit. But really pretty and pigmented. So many pink eyeshadow palettes, obviously, for Valentine's Day releasing. And I'm just, like, trying to avoid them at all costs. Because we have so many pinky, mauve berries that came out last year that I'm just over 
all of it. I If I'm craving that color, I already have about 20 other palettes I could reach for. So I was quite happy that the collection wasn't just one palette with pinks. I feel like that shadow pretty much applied itself. Very, very easy. Now I want to go into this kind of clay color and it is called Sable Seduction. And I'm just going to bring that into the crease. I don't know if you can hear the wind. We're having some crazy kind of weather right now. So it's just insanity. <laughs> that looks so pretty. So that was crazy easy. <laughs> now we're just going to go. We're just going to be like really intuitive with this palette and kind of just going in deeper and deeper. So I want to go in now with this brown shade, which is called the Burning Desire. You know what? Burning Desire was this clay color and this is Sable Seduction. So we're going to go into Sable Seduction. It gets kind of confusing when the shade names are like reverse on the back. All right, that looks really pretty with the brown, and I added a little bit more of the Burning Desire, just a little bit higher to kind of emphasize that gradient. Okay. Let's go into Bronze Fantasy a little with our finger, and that has a beautiful shine to it. And we're just going to put a little on the edge of the brown towards the center of the lid. All right, that applied as expected. I'm not really seeing any surprises here because her consistency with her shadows are pretty good. I think I've only had one really bad experience with a Pat McGrath palette, and I wouldn't say it was bad. I just felt like the formula wasn't special at all. So now let's get into Honey Lust, which is that center shimmer. And this is what she looks like, and put that on the inner third and pull that towards the center. That looks so gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I'm gonna take a small pencil brush and we're gonna take the last color, which is Champagne Desire right here and put that on the inner corner. This is a shade that she puts in like every one of her her eyeshadow palettes. They always have like a very light gold in it. But yeah, overall, I think this look looks really, really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of that peach persuasion to the lower lash line. I think that will really tie the look together. All right, so I added a little bit of this ColourPop liner in Red Rock and... I want to go on the mascara, but not quite yet, because you know what? I think I want to try these liquid shadows on top of these ones. I know it's not ideal, but let's try them on. So I want to try Platinum Bronze and see if we put that on the lid. And I want to do it with a brush because I want to be able to be precise. So I have this flat shader brush, and I'm going to put a little bit on the applicator from the applicator on and let's put this over the lid. Oh, it's very foiled, shiny. That's very, very pretty, like super blinding. We will try the rolls one, two on the inner corner. I think it'll be fun to layer it up a bit. I think because it's so cool tone, it's not very expected, obviously, with this look, but I still really 
enjoy the way that it looks. So that's quite nice. Let's try the Ro Luna Rose. Yeah, Luna Rose. And put a little bit of that on the inner corner. We'll use an even smaller shader brush. Whoa, that is so blinding. I'm going to just share some of that with this side. This is like very like stretchy. Like you can really stretch this out and it has very good opacity. And there's definitely working time between the two because as you see, I went back and forth and it's not dried out. I can feel it begin to dry though. That looks really, really pretty. I mean, typically these colors wouldn't be my ideal to mix and match, but I just kind of wanted to test a little bit of everything. Now I'm really taking a look at the way it's sitting on my lid here and I don't see any creasing and it has dried down, which is nice because as you can tell when I have my eyes fully open that there is a a significant fold there but I don't see that it's like done anything weird in there super cool all right let's put on some mascara and swatch everything out all right so I have some mascara on and let's get to swatching the eyeshadow palette so we're gonna go from the top one which is champagne desire Then we have Peach Persuasion. It's so creamy to the touch. There you go. Then we have Bronze Fantasy. Sable Seduction. That one feels drier than the peach one. And you can tell it's a little drier, I think, by the swatch. But it layers up really nicely. Then we have Honey Lust and Burning Desire. Burning Desire has a texture almost in between Peach Persuasion and Sable Seduction because it's like, it's not as creamy as the peach one, but it's definitely not as dry as the brown. Um, but that's all of them. Looks really, really pretty. Now let's swatch the um, liquid shadows. I'm tempted now <laughs> to pick up, uh, what was it? Bronze Bijou, which is just like a gold shade that they had. I didn't get it initially because I was like, oh, it's just another gold, but oh my goodness, look at the shine on that. It isn't that, isn't that so pretty? All right, that is the bronze platinum, right? Platinum bronze. And then let's swatch the um, Luna Rose. And actually, let's see, we can spread that a little with our finger. It's stunning. It's stunning. And it feels so nice on the skin. It's very creamy. You can kind of see like, oh my God, the reflection is so pretty. And it's very, very smooth. Such a smooth, smooth formula. This is all of them. That's so pretty. <laughs> so, so pretty. I'm really happy with this um, purchase. I'm glad that I didn't like overdo it and get every single thing, but but I'm very happy that I picked up the products that I did pick up. And yeah, if you're interested in it, I recommend this palette. I, I was tempted to get the all matte one just because it's so different being all matte. And I was like, oh, well, you can kind of mix and match it with like if you have single shadows, which I have many of. But then I was like, you know, I don't need that. <laughs> I like to have a combination of shimmers and mattes in a palette. And I, as much as it sounds appealing, I can't tell myself that I'm definitely going to use it. 
Now, if it goes on sale, if it sticks around long enough that it's like in the next sale, you know, that she has, I might pick it up on a discount, but like full price, I did not think it was $65 worth for the mats. Like I want to be able to have a look with shimmers and not, I'm not one of these girls that are just doing like an all matte eyeshadow look all the time. So it's just not for me. I do see that it's like appealing too. Like if you got all of these and you just had the matte shadows and then you use these as your shimmers, I can kind of see that. But again, I think that's just for a different kind of person that does makeup because I can use these with this palette. I don't need like an additional one an additional thing. So yeah. Um, let me know what you guys picked up. If you picked up any, do you plan on picking anything up? I'm really interested to find out. And if not, I hope you just enjoyed watching me put on the makeup. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.